And what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Cope with this house. Let me just to be screen some more time for this Halloween. You feel me? And this year, too. You can count that also. Shout out to Drake. But, but, I've been gone. Took a little break because I had to focus on grades. Grades weren't doing the best. You know, I was slacking, getting off task. That's 100% my fault. Can't blame nobody else besides me. And so, with that being said, I'm back on the channel. Also, you guys, your boy hit 37,000 likes on TikTok. God, miss TikTok. It's Kobe with the T-H-A sauce. No space, no nothing. Kobe with the sauce. T-H-A. I have a magic, I have a story I wrote for y'all. You feel me? It's a little 10th grade project I had to do for Halloween. It's called The Magic Horror. I wrote this myself. Let me know what you guys think. You know what I'm saying? Gotta get into it. Do you guys enjoy magical tricks? Because tricks are for kids. The story I'm about to tell you is about a birthday party gone wrong. One warm summer day. Oh yeah, these characters are based off one of my favorite TV shows as a kid, Victorious. So it's gonna be a lot of characters named like that. One warm summer day, Tori was having a birthday party because she was turning 10. Her parents surprised her and invited a nice magician. So they thought. Tori invited her closest friends, Andre, Robbie, and Sinji. When she found that a magician was coming because she knew they all loved magic. The magician did all the normal things kids enjoy, like pulling a bunny out of a hat and pulling pennies behind kids' ears. The magician and his assistant did everything to make the kids happy. So everything's going good right now, you feel me? For the last trick, the magician and his assistant came out to the audience and picked out Robbie, saying, who wants to see your friend disappear? The crowd of young children all said, yay, me, me. And so the trick proceeded and Robbie disappeared from the backyard. The magicians also disappeared with Robbie. After the children saw Robbie come out of the house, they went nuts. Then Tori and Andre felt breathing behind them. That put fear in their hearts. They turned around and the magician and his assistant jumped out and scared them. But before they jumped out, they whispered behind the kids' ears, happy birthday. The crowd jumped with joy besides Tori and Andre. They felt a little suspense considering they would do that, you know? After the party, the magicians packed their things and went to the house to get paid. When they left, Tori, Andre, Robbie, and Sitchin conversated about how they, about how astonished they were. Now, usually Tori parents would yell out, who wants cake? But that didn't happen for 30 minutes. So Tori and Andre went inside the house to check to find Tori's parents. They searched deep inside, and all they found was a piece of her mother's scalp and a tooth on the ground. Tori screamed with fear, and suspense immediately filled her body, wondering about the location of her mother and father. You know what I'm saying? So now she's looking for her mom and dad, seeing she found uh, a scalp piece and a tooth on the floor. So Andre, Robbie, Tori, and Sinjin went to the room of Tori's mother and checked the security camera. They ran back the tape and they watched. Her parents go downstairs to get the cake. In the process, someone with a party hat charged at Tori's parents with a knife and drug them away. Sad to say, they knew it wasn't the magician and that it was someone at her party who committed this horrific crime. Suspense grew within Tori and her friends, knowing a potential kidnapper and murderer was at their house. The room grew with silence as they tried to comprehend what was going on. But confusion also grew within them. Why was one of Tori's friends trying to hurt her parents? They were thinking maybe if her parents did something to a friend, like exclude them from something. Suddenly, they heard a loud screech from outside. So they rushed downstairs and saw Sinjin on the ground. Saw Sinjin on the ground with a knife beside his body. They thought about how Sinjin was just upstairs with them earlier. As they turned around to look at his body again, they saw that he was missing. They dashed upstairs to check to check the camera, and they saw a dark shadow grab Sinjin. The basement door was open, and the figure threw something big on the basement floor. In the living room, they saw they all saw the figure walking slowly towards the camera. Then the three of them looked closer. As the camera get a better view, little to their surprise, the figure was 
sadly, I don't even know what happened. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I know what happened. If you guys want a part two, it's not going to be Halloween anymore, but if you guys want a part two for me to drop it, give me three comments. Three comments and ten likes. I'll drop it. I ain't got a problem with it. I'll, I'll write another one. I'm not tripping. But if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. I don't celebrate Halloween like that. I just did it for the grade, and I thought it was a good story for me to tell. But let me know what you guys think. It means so much to me for me to share my life with you guys and you guys to watch it. It means, you know what I'm saying, to guys take time of your day to, day to watch that. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And the likes. It's your boy Cope with the Sauce. I'm just signing out for the day. I'm not feeling the best, but I had to record a video for you guys. Thank you for being here for me. We cope with the sauce. Hey. Catch the story for me. Eee! That was ugly. Alright, alright. Catch the story for me again. Mwah.